Okay, hold up a sign and get hit with a fine. That is what happened to one Texas man when he decided to alert fellow drivers in an upcoming speed trap. And now the Frisco Police Department quickly arresting him and writing him up for interfering with their speed enforcement operations. But is that even legal? Attorney Remy Spencer doesn't think so. Stacy Snyder said the guy deserved it. Now, Stacy, how is this any different? And I do this because, you know, I'm a kind soul. When I pass a policeman a speed trap, I usually, you know, hit my flash or my, my uh, high rights. Beams. There you go. Yeah, high high beams. Beams. I know my car. To warn a, a driver's coming. Out. So what am I doing that's different? That's very courteous of you. This guy is standing in the median of a highway with a sign. Well, because he maybe doesn't have a car. He might not have a car, but what he's doing is he, he is. There are misdemeanors in many states for interfering with law enforcement or interfering with governmental you didn't administration. Ask me, how's that different than he, me hitting my brights? Because he is holding up a sign. You're hitting your brights, it could mean anything, knowing you. Who knows what that means? He has it's a, a little sign condescending, that we, but I understand what you're talking <laughs> about. <laughs> no, that's fine. Little, that's fine. Because I'm only a guest. All right. But he's holding up a sign saying, there's law enforcement ahead of you, so if you're breaking the law by speeding, you better stop now. So what that's right, doing well. is you're impeding people from getting punished for the crime. And I want to say this about me when I drive. If I have my child in the back of the car and if someone's going 80 miles an hour down the highway, I want them to get a ticket. I don't want someone to warn them, cop ahead, you can slow down now before you get written up. Really? Yeah, but that's really not the point here, right? The point is we all want the roads to be safe. We all want our children to be safe. We all want people to drive the speed limit. What this man was doing was just as effective, if not more effective, than police officers with a speed trap. His point is, I'm holding up a sign to slow people down because the police officers are jetting out into the middle of the road on their motorcycles and they're creating more of a danger risk than that one or two speed speedster on the road. Is it technically, yeah, by the way, I mentioned the point about the, the, the light thing, but is that technically illegal? No, it's not illegal at all. That's a great point because there's nothing illegal or it's not violating the enforcement of speed traps or law enforcement by advising other drivers that there is an officer nearby. So he actually wasn't charged with an offense for uh, violating the But the net result is people slow down. Right. And just as you, if you, you know, you would say they, someone should get a speeding ticket if they're going too fast. Mm -hmm. They ultimately slow down. So net net everyone wins, right? Well, you know what? What about this issue? He's standing up on a highway holding a sign up and the driver takes their eye off the road to read the sign. Him. <laughs> it's him. But now someone's Very eyes good are point. off the road. See? I Very always have good, good points. Point. That's what litigation's all <laughs> well, about. Well, it's a, it's a loop. Yeah. You're such a good lawyer that I end up being against you now. I'm for what you're saying. And I had no idea what you were saying. But what do you make of that? that? That actually he's a danger on the road. There's nothing unlawful about him being there. There's no restriction. There's no signs about him being there. And he wasn't charged with being there. He was actually, let's be clear, charged with a municipal code violation for using a sign without a permit. So oh, really? That was a technical reason? Yeah. technically and what he was But the real there. reason was because he was... And I'll tell you what, with the I'll tell you what the problem the is. This is about money. This is about revenue. The town is upset that he's taking money exactly. away yeah. from people Which who... Which is why it ended up tickets. being on this show, because it's a very <laughs> big financial story. not about speeding. It's about no. the town generating money from those speeding tickets. And that's uh, what it's you know all what? about. Yeah, but if this was about a DUI trap and he has a sign up warning drunk drivers, hey, DUI trap. But he wasn't the road. doing that, Stacey. I know, but I'm making an analogy, Neil. Yeah, but and that's we'd, going we'd be too upset far. With that. <laughs> I think it's right on point. Okay. Well, uh, ladies, thank you very much, Remy Stacey. Thank you. Good weekend. All right. Well,